I've shown you many solutions for backup and portable power, but what you're gonna see in this video is totally different. This is the most rugged portable power system in the world, and it's also got some features that don't exist on any other product on the market. But before you grab your credit card, you should know that most of these units are sold to heavy duty commercial users and even the military. Now there are some homeowners that get them as well, but all that just means that the unit is not cheap. But even if you're not buying for the military, stick around to look at something really cool and see what makes this unit so unique. This model is the Batpack Energy and it's made by Hybrid Power Solutions in Canada. Now the company isn't just based there, they also manufacture these devices there as well. But you can actually customize these and they have a number of different sizes to meet different needs. The first thing you'll notice is the outside design, and that isn't just for looks, that case is a genuine Natic 960. They've also got that integrated trolley in the bottom, and you're definitely going to need it because this model weighs 123 pounds. Now part of that weight is because inside the batteries are lithium iron phosphate. That's a newer type of battery designed to have a really extended lifespan. In fact, Hyperpower is one of the few companies that tells you you should expect this to last between 10 and 15 years. They built this unit so that anyone could use it. They didn't require any training by just using a simple on off switch. And when you put it to the start position, it energizes the power circuits. And if you wanna know how much power is left in the battery, you can just look at that simple gauge that looks exactly the same as the kind of gas gauge you'd have in your car. And it's even got a couple of cool functions. When the backlighting is red, that means it's ready to output power. And when it's orange, that means the battery is being charged. Everything about this unit is super high quality. Even the AC outlets on the front aren't just regular plugs. These are genuine Hubble commercial rated outlets and they've even got these weatherproof covers. And these cost about 10 times the price of a regular outlet, but they're designed to last forever and these things can take a beating. This unit was also customized with two additional options. You've got the solar input using standard MC4 connectors. You've also got these two more unusual plugs and these are used to charge this thing directly from an alternator on a vehicle or a boat. That's a feature I've never seen built into any other portable power station on the market. The power output in this thing is really impressive. It's capable of putting out 8,000 watts of surge power. Now that's gonna be really important if you're running huge tools, pumps, or really big loads. Now the battery in it is also an extended range battery, which means it gives you 3600 watt hours of runtime. Another impressive feature is you can charge this via AC power in just about five hours. And you don't need any type of AC adapter or power bricks, it just plugs right into the Hubble outlet using a standard extension cord. This is also the only power station on the market that you can actually use outdoors regardless of the weather. In fact, their manual even states that you can use and leave it outside. Now they recommend that you keep it inside to make it last longer, but it's nice to know that this thing is that rugged. The case is what keeps the unit watertight, but you might be thinking what cools the inside electronics when the unit is running. Well, that's done by these two channels on the outside of the case. The left is the air intake and the right one is the exhaust. They've also got a clever accessory if you work in a super dusty or dirty environment that goes into the intake and now you've got a built in air filter when you need it. And one of the best ways to charge this thing while you're driving or running the engine is to do it off the alternator. And this is very different than plugging a regular power station into your cigarette lighter. You're typically only going to get 8 to 10 amps doing it that way, but when you connect it directly into your battery and your alternator, you can charge it up to 60 amps. And I wanted to put this feature to the test, so I connected it to the battery on my truck. Now if you're going to wire this long term, you would of course run those wires in a much better way, and then you could leave it permanently connected. I also like these connectors they use because there's no way to accidentally touch them together and short your electrical system out. And with everything connected, all I needed to do was start up the engine to see if the unit would begin charging. And as you can see on my meter, the unit was in fact charging at 60 amps. This model also included the solar charging option, which means you can charge it up to 780 watts of solar input. And for this test, I'm using a Bouge RV 100 watt flexible solar panel, and this has the standard MC4 connectors, and these just plug right into the front of the bat energy. Another really impressive feature about this model is the temperature range that you can use it. You can draw power from it from negative four to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Now charging the unit is different. You can go from 23 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, but if you want to use this thing in a really cold climate, they even have an electric heating option. And what that does is it keeps the batteries warm when needed. So if you opt for that kit, you can actually charge this thing in as low as negative four degrees Fahrenheit. I also put this unit through a number of tests to make sure everything was working right and to find out how efficient the unit was. I tried to overload it. I ran it up all the way to the 4,000 watts of output. 
and I also verified that it was putting out pure sine power and that the voltage and frequency were all within specification. The biggest surprise of this unit was about the efficiency. Now when you buy one of these units you get a stated amount of battery runtime, but in reality the unit itself uses some of that power and what you're left with is the actual efficiency. I ran this unit from 100% to zero and I measured the output and surprisingly I got an 89% efficiency rating. The next question is, is what's inside this case? Now normally they close this thing with security screws, but I got permission to open it up to peek inside. Now inside you're gonna find all the components of the unit, including things like the battery management system, your solar controller, but the most impressive thing is the amount of metal used inside this case. The last big question is the price. This unit sold for just over $5,000. Now that sounds like a ton of money until you compare it to what else is on the market. The only other ruggedized power station you can buy is made by Milwaukee. It's called the MX Fuel Carry-On, and I did a review of this one earlier in the year, and it did not do well. Now, it only sells for $2,200, so that might sound like a real bargain, but for that price, you only get two batteries, and you'd actually need eight batteries if you wanted to be able to match the runtime of the Hybrid Power Solutions unit, and that means you'd be spending well over $5,000, and you wouldn't have any weather protection, you don't get the alternator charging, or any type of solar input. If you're in a situation where your power is everything, this is definitely a unit to consider. Or if you're a commercial user that needs high output in one single package, this could be a great choice. This is definitely not going to be the perfect unit for everyone, but for some people this is going to be ideal. By the way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.